Hello everybody, my name's Anubis Lives, and I'm your VTuber Senpai. I've been asked about animes by face rig and what I thought about it, so I thought today I would make a video and let you all know how it works and if it's worth it for you to use. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video to know all the positives and negative sides about this software. Or if you want to skip ahead to the review of this software, just click on the little chapter down below or there's going to be a little timestamp that appears just now of where you could find it. But before we jump into the video, I have a favor to ask you if you could like and subscribe. By liking this video, you can actually help it show up in the algorithm. By subscribing, you help the channel grow and earn extra perks on YouTube. So if you like today's content, make sure you hit those buttons. All right, let's get into it. So Animes by Face Rig is actually available for free on Steam. So here we are on Steam. All we gotta do is type in animes into the search and we'll see that we get a result for animes by face rig. Once we click on it, we get the result that we are looking for. You can scroll down and click download. I already downloaded it, so it says free right here for me. Once it's done downloading and installing, we're gonna open up the application. Okie dokie, so now that we have the software open, let's check out some settings. First setting we're gonna check out is the avatars. So we have popular avatars here. Some of these avatars you gotta purchase with in-app currency. They give you 1500, that's pretty cool. We got all avatars here, personas and imports. So what this means is one day they're gonna support VRM importing. They say they're gonna support that very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, so some other settings that we have here is background. So you could add customized backgrounds where you could add a chair or little devices to it. We got different customizations for the head where you could change the fur color, so on and so forth. This will not work with your VRMs, only the models supported by animes. And we got props, a whole bunch of different props that you could go through to add to your VRM. These do work with the VRM. We do have a voice modifier here, so you can modify your voice if you chose to. We got emotes here, which is fantastic. And we got an animation section where you can just run different animations for your Vroid or Anime's avatar. Okay, so now that we went through some of the basic stuff, let's go through some of Anime's settings. Okay, to pull up the settings, we gotta hit the little gear icon on the bottom left hand side. So we got our general stuff here, pretty cool, reset tutorial, tracking profile, so on and so forth. Video graphics where you can change different cameras, change the resolution of the cameras, Webcam input, show webcam if you wanted it to show up there or not. And we got V-Sync, FPS is all your normal stuff. Audio, we got your input, your output, hear yourself, which is a very cool feature. Not a lot of applications have that. So you actually have the option to hear yourself through your headset. That is very, very neat. We got different languages that it supports. We got some basic controls on how to change the camera or edit the camera. We got quick scenes, which is something that you can use if you wanna use the gaming chair in the background or if you wanna use a different scene like a bedroom or something like that. Of course, you got the terms and conditions. We will touch up on that a little bit later. We got the privacy policy and we got the about. Okie dokie, so now that we covered that, let's talk about adding this to OBS. So as you see, it says click here when you are ready to set up your stream. So click show me how. It gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set this up, which is fantastic. Not a lot of applications have this. So you gotta do your step-by-step, -step, follow what it says on the screen, and then you gotta enable virtual camera. Yes, they make you use their virtual camera. And the reason for that is, well, let me show you. You only get 90 minutes, AKA you have to upgrade to get unlimited virtual camera so you could use this application in obs or your discord or skype so on so forth now that we did a quick little setup tutorial on how to set up animes let's do a review animes is an amazing piece of shit. unfortunately i don't understand what animes's production team studio whatever you want to call them is actually thinking what they were planning to do with this product. Let's go through all the bads of this software because there is so many of them. Okay, so there's a reason why I would never recommend this software to anybody. To use their virtual camera, it only gives you 90 minutes on the free version. 
If you want unlimited time, you gotta pay for it. Now, I've been taking takes and takes and takes, and I just can't stop swearing in these other takes, so I'm gonna try to not swear in this take. But, if you wanna use their software, unlimited, you gotta pay $19 a year, or $20 a year, or a monthly fee of $4. For some reason, Animaze feels that they have the right to charge you more if you make $500 plus per month. Now, there's no software that charges you more out there if you make more than a certain amount. That's VTubing. This is ridiculous. Luppet, there's a one-time fee for the software and it just works. Okay, you own it forever. Luppet is amazing. Virtual Webcam. The thing that they make you use in OBS to use this software properly, they charge you for. Okay, a monthly fee, this is a subscription. This is not acceptable. You can even use this software for free without a watermark. This is ridiculous. You should be able to use a piece of software, a free version of a software without a watermark. Now, okay, sure. If you wanna add a watermark on the bottom left-hand side, I'll, all right, I'll let it slide. But there's no reason why you need to include a watermark on this. Stream at 60 FPS, 60 FPS, sure. Let, let, let's, let's just say you could stream at 30 FPS, no problem. A lot of people do it, that's okay. But the fact that if you want to stream at a faster frames per second, you got to pay for it. That's just crazy. Advanced configurations, for embodiment and tracking, the advanced tracking you need to pay for. Now, these don't support leap motion or anything like that. So you're literally using their built-in little waves and whatnot. This is just a joke. Importing avatars free, okay, that's fine. Import avatars, backgrounds, props, exclusive personal use, unlimited, okay, that's cool. Dedicated capture window with transparent background, you have to pay for. Export your videos as MP4, you gotta pay for. Early, ba er, early beta access, which nobody will ever want to do, you gotta pay for. Which means you gotta pay to get into the early beta, a beta that will actually help them. That will actually allow you to help them, you gotta pay for. This is just crazy. You should not have to do that. Now, paying for some of their avatars, okay, I understand that. But honestly, this piece of software is just junk. If you need to pay for a, a, an ability to stream, don't even bother. Use Wakaru, it's broken and abandoned by its creators, but it's better than this. 310A, VC Face, VC Face is amazing. Animes, I'm sorry, you guys gotta step up your game. Make it a one-time fee of $50, $60, allow us to have all the access, and then I could support the software and get behind it. So basically in conclusion, I can never, ever, ever recommend this software to any VTubers. If you are a VTuber, avoid the software at all costs. Don't even think about it, just avoid it. Don't even come back to it. If Animaze actually makes a one-time purchase that isn't just crazy, okay, I can maybe get behind that. But unfortunately, their monthly subscription is feeling like it's a scheme. A scheme that's just wanting to take money, 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 money. Is microtransactions in a VTubing software. Is their avatars good? Yes. But the fact that you gotta pay a subscription fee to access extra features or functions is just, it's, it's nutty. Download VC Face. Download 310A. Download Luppet. Download anything and everything else except for animes by face rig. It's a scam. I personally feel it's a scam and they're making stuff harder. And the fact that you have to use their virtual cam to get this working in OBS properly just has alarm bells going off all over for me. My name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come on by, say hi, let's talk about animes and how much of a ripoff it is. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.